you know, if there were technologies that could um, make me more youthful and more energetic for longer so that I could do the meaningful work that I like to do longer, of course I would be very enthusiastic about that. Um, why wouldn't I? Medicine Food for Kids, or MFK, is an organization that I started um, 17 years ago um, because of what I had seen in the previous 15 years in Haiti. Um, lots of sick kids um, not getting better with medicine, sick because they were malnourished and no real way to treat them. And uh, so we started making this concoction of peanuts, powdered milk, sugar oil, vitamins and minerals with a little hand grinder and then put a motor on it and then put a hopper on it and moved six times and raised money to build a big factory and employ more people. And so we have now got 66 Haitian employees. We have worked with thousands and thousands of Haitian peanut farmers over the years to grow better peanuts that we can then buy. And we have now um, treated in combination with Haiti and the rest in 14 other countries to which we export, 430,000 children's lives have been saved. So we feel like we've really made a dent in it, but the really hard part of this is sustainability and continuing and continuing. Well, I was taking um, aging for granted and just thinking it was, I um, was just kind of chugging along and I was gonna live forever until um, last summer I was in Haiti and it was 9.15 at night and I was in bed and I got severe angina. And I knew what it was and there was nothing to be done about it. I didn't have an aspirin, I called three people, they didn't have an aspirin. If I went to the hospital, they wouldn't have had an aspirin. They couldn't have done anything for me, you know. And I thought, whoa, hmm, this is surprising. <laughs> this is how it ends, huh? And it went on for 90 minutes. And in that 90 minutes, I had a, that's a long time to think, you know. So I fell asleep and I woke up in the morning and shoot, I was alive. And I thought, whoa that's good whoa <laughs> that's something and I didn't I made my phone calls to the airline got on the airplane and we went to the hospital and I had a stent put in and here I am today I'm good to go for another 20 years maybe but sometimes it doesn't work out for people right at the cardiac cath I had a 99% occlusion of the widow maker so I would have been dead. You know, I'm really all about meaningfulness. And so if I could lead a meaningful life for a long, long time, that to me, that'd be great. I know there's lots of things that we could do in Haiti that would be very useful. Um, and, and could be done lots of places. And if I had more energy, maybe I would go to those other places. Uh, so I don't see any shortage of things to do.